So a little bit change of pace here. Uh, this is Command Modern Operations. And I'm running a scenario that's going to simulate the United States attempting a first strike by inserting B-2 stealth bombers to take out Chinese silos and their tail launchers. And the worst has happened. They've been spotted, they've been detected, and the Chinese have decided to launch an all-out retaliatory strike. So let's see. So what I've done is I pre-positioned as many of our ballistic missile defenses as I could. I need to switch sides here to get, show you what's going on. Switch to U.S. Coalition. So we have Arleigh Burks. We have Tycho Cruisers. We have ground-based mid-course interceptors. We have THADs. We have our sea-based X-band radars. We have our Aegis Ashore. More Thads. More Arleigh Burks. We have them positioned here around Japan, South Korea. We have them around Guam. Diego Garcia. We have Ohio class ballistic subs. We have Los Angeles class attack subs trying to take out their boomers. So it has failed. And now we're going to see just how much of them, how much is going to be able to get through. So let's go. You already see they've already started launching. These are one megaton warheads. Yeah, Mr. Miyagi's home is gone. We just lost the Los Angeles attack sub. All right, let's go ahead and pause now. Let's take a look at casualties. Losses and expenditures. U.S. led coalition. So we lost one. Los Angeles class sub. We lost our Aegis ashore. We lost 16 ground based interceptors. We lost 9 rim, 161s, 16 thads. We did launch several Tomahawk missiles and 72 Trident missiles in retaliation. Well, 16 SEAL commandos. 
China. They lost 28 mobile launchers, numerous radars, 20 silos, 22 silos, and two other ballistic missile subs. They were able to fire off 33 500 kiloton Dofang 21As. 31 reentry vehicles, 24 Dofang 31As, 1 megatons, 8 3 megaton Dofang 3s, 6 Dofang 4s with 3 megatons, 20 Dofang 5s, 350 kilotons. So there you see, losses and expenditures. We did lose 26 cities. So command modern operations is not particularly good at modeling casualties from nuclear strikes and nuclear war simulators, not very good at modeling some of the uh, ballistic missiles, the naval air units, all that good stuff. So doing the best of both worlds I ran through the command modern operations where the United States attempted a first strike and China was able to retaliate before the United States first strike gets off so I have compiled the list of all the locations hit and so now we're going to start hitting them so I'm gonna go over to China Let's do single strike, single detonation. We're going to go with, let's start with the DF. Uh, well, you know what? They do not have the particular one I'm looking for, which is a 500 kiloton. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it 500. And we will do the first one at a height of 500 feet. And so let's find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's 11 strikes. They also had one with a three megaton warhead and that would be, they do not have it in here. So let me just go with three. I'll do this one 500. Okay, so they have
Honolulu took one. They took Honolulu took a JL twelve, which is a one megaton. Megaton. Okay, so we also know that the United States launched 70, was it, uh, just go with uh, 80 W96s. bit for Wuhan. All right, that's enough of that nonsense. Okay, so you see here, Japan lost almost 12 million people. United States 1.8 million, Australia 1.7 million, China 66 million. Checking real quick if Canada lost almost 100,000 people. So 82 million, some change, dead overall. Fall out, be tremendous.
So that is that. A lot of loss. Uh, again, this is my experiment to try to combine these two. Obviously, these two videos would be an enormously long video, so I'm going to try to condense a lot of it, try to make it at least somewhat watchable. Um, this is just really an experiment. So, more to come as I try to get better at this. Um, I haven't done command modern operations for a little bit now, so I was extremely rusty with that. So, for any of you guys out there that are experts, um, apologies in advance. Um, it's been a second since I've uh, messed around with it, but going to be doing some more on there. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.